today on Divorce Court. I'm here today because I don't trust my husband. I give Tequila no reason not to trust me. Duntavious needs to gain respect for me, myself, and women. Tequila, I need you to gain a little more weight and, you know, just take care of yourself more, you know, be happy with yourself. Stop being insecure. I do see myself spending the rest of my life with Duntavious only if he can change. Duntavious, I need you to change the way you think. Divorce Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Lynn Toller presiding. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Tequila Green and Dontavious Wellens. Ms. Green and Mr. Wellens, you have been together four years, engaged for a year and a half. You do not have any children together, but you do have a child from a previous relationship, yes, correct? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you two are here on or before your vows. You would like to know my opinion of your union. You have given me a copy of your uh, marriage license with permission to tear it up, should I think it's ill-advised. And you filled out my compatibility test, which I have in big red letters, wow, next to one of them. So I'm just letting you know what's coming up. So Ms. Green, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your relationship and why you want my opinion on it here today? I came here today because I don't trust Duntavious Wellens. Okay. Duntavious has given me numerous of reasons for not trusting him. There was a time where uh, Duntavious had just got off from work. Right. He came in, took a shower, and he jetted back out the door. Right. So in the process of this, I go in the bathroom, and there's a hotel key on the floor. And I'm like, okay, so let me... And then, on top of that, he didn't come home. So I Googled the hotel, and luckily, the hotel key had the room number on it. So with my woman's intuition, I got up. Woman's grabbed... intuition? You yeah. research that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, intuition. I got up. Got my pepper spray, got my little handgun, and so I'm on my way to the... Hold up, hold up! <laughs> she just rolled out, I got, got my pepper spray, my bag, my, my gun. You took your gun? I didn't know what I could have been walking into. So I'm a small woman, so I'm like, okay, I might need some enforcement. Oh. So I went to the room. Now I'm just scared. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the room, I knocked on the door, he didn't answer. So I knocked on the door again. I'm like, room service. And he was like, I'm good. I don't need nothing. I'm like, okay, I'm about to use this key now. So I knocked on the door again. He finally got up and flung the door open and he saw that it was me. So I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't see anything unordinary. And I'm like, so why didn't you come home? Why didn't you call me or say anything? He, his excuse was, you know, I was working on some music. Wait a minute. Did you say you were working on some music in a motel room? Listen, ma'am, sometimes when we argue and stuff, I want to free my mind. Isn't nothing wrong with going to rent a room with six minutes up the road because I don't want to hear her yapping at me no about Stop. a key? It's a common practice of yours to rent a room to clear your mind. No, mm -hmm. this is not a practice, but that's how I get away sometimes. No, a common thing. Is a oh, thing yeah, yeah. Do, this do is often. common. That's no. what I mean. Do you, do you no, know that that's does. something he does no, in order to clear his mind? No, he never told me that. I was on my way to work. And I noticed he went at home. So, okay, I'm like, what's really well, going on? Give me the next on? incident, you say. Another hotel key. So he uses my car. And we at the gas station. I'm cleaning stuff out of the car, throwing the bottles away and stuff. I find another hotel key. So I, I throw it out. That's yours? Okay. Hang I... on, I'm gonna get to you. What, what happened after you did that? He went off. Here you go with these damn hotel keys again. He got so mad to the point where he cussed me out. He, he wanted to spit on me because he was just that upset. Mr. Wellens, your, your version of that event. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I admit, <laughs> the first key was mine, but I told her the second key I was at the studio, I gave two people a ride. I can't be checking them what they got in their pockets or whatever. I dropped the other dude, I dropped him off in West End somewhere, so he probably was staying in a room or something, and I told her, I can get proof of this. I could have hit up Buddy on the that phone. That was proof. I could have hit up Buddy on the phone, but like I said, she just in denial. She makes up a story so you, what, do you with. believe she's insecure? Yes, yeah, she's, believes... she's very insecure. I... And emotional, very. No. You say a woman is not allowed to look at you but for so long before something happens. She snaps about it. What does she do? You looking at him too long. She'll say something to you like, you, you probably can't look at me too long right now. She'll <laughs> snap about that. 
I mean, I know, I'm run, okay. Next hey, I know I'm okay to look at, but I'll be like, you got to control that is yourself. That's true. Tequila, say come on. I'm you don't know, no, 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 Miss Green, no, give it a minute, give it a minute. Tequila. Clearly, you don't trust him. Whether or not what he's doing in those motel rooms, I don't know. Right. A but piece do of you, mind? hang on, Nobody do knows. you get mad when he looks at a woman or a woman looks at him for longer than you believe appropriate? No, ma'am, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. No. Never happened. No. He just made that up. We have had, went to a restaurant before, and it seemed like this woman know him. She telling him he smelled good, and I'm like, okay. And then they just talking back and forth like I wasn't there, and I'm like, you, you know her or something like that? Mm -hmm. That was it. Stuff like now, that. Isn't that kind of weird question. that they would do that right in front of right you if something illicit was going on? She's like, hey, you smell so good. What is that that you have on? I'm, I'm just eating. Everybody tell me I smell just good. Talking. I like smelling good. And I'm like, okay. Who he like, smell good? He know her. Like, they having a full-blown conversation. That's called he getting to know somebody. He always says that I don't talk much and I let people run over me. So the last thing that I would do is be like, oh, you better stop looking at him. That's not me at all. You not tell at it all. to me. You don't tell it to them. They and don't have said, to hear. I, 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 I hear. Yeah, you no, told I it didn't. to her. That was that time I, you told her I, and they switched our um, sure. waitress. But I got you. I got you. Let me ask you, miss. They <laughs> switched the waitress because she thought I knew the waitress. Like, me and the waitress had been messing around the or something. The conversation was a little too <laughs> Okay. 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 This That's how you meet no, people. No, 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 hang on. You say he's verbally abusive. Why don't you explain that to me? Yes, Duntavious will call me names such as... Such as? Flo. He's called me a maggot before. And that's something that's low to the ground. And if I'm a maggot and I'm feeding on dead bodies, it must be his. <laughs> <laughs> Talk no, about, about the burn backfiring. Uh, Mr. Wellens, do you call her a maggot? <laughs> Okay, the names that I called Tequila, like I said, me and Tequila was friends before anything. Of course I call her the name. We call each other names back the, and, and forth. That's but I don't, I don't, I tell her, you can't take that serious when I call you now. I like the one from, we call it janking, roasting, flaming. So I might jank her every now and then. Cause those like, are not we joking friends. words. With maggots? I right. use those type of words. I'm this, a country dude. I mean, dude. I know, like, been playing, playing the dozens. Oh, you so funny. Okay, but when I tell her she's slow, okay, I'm the type of person. If you're acting slow, I'm going to treat you like you slow until you break out of that mind frame. I don't mean no harm with tequila. I just want tequila to better herself. That's all I want better from her. Better myself let, 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 me, let, me give, let, let me give you a heads up, and then we're going to move on to some other things. Calling a person a maggot does not help them level up at all. <laughs> it's of we no call assist. each no, other hang night. On, hang on, hang on. It's of no, no, you just told me, or slow. None of that makes them any better. None of that is helpful. It makes yeah. them worse. You right. Because you, you're He's digging at their me. personality and they Give lose their confidence. I'm going to leave that there. And when we come back, what I want to talk about is the issue of booty shaming. You got the, the box bottom. You got the bubble. Which I do die. You got in. the heart. Then you got the shell, the badonka donk, and the teardrop booty. Badonka donk in the bubble, because that's what I attract. Ms. Green, you say he booty shames you. Please explain that concept yes. to me. Duntavia says that I have a Mexican booty and a teardrop booty. I would like to give you this to look at to explain. A Mexican booty? Yes. And a teardrop booty. Yes. <laughs> now, of course, I'm not, thank you very much, familiar with either of those uh, booty <laughs> forms. <laughs> so, Mr. 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 Wellens, do you, do you say that? I say that. I'm going to ask you to describe what you mean, but I understand we have okay. uh, their own plasma, so maybe you can you can point things out for me. Now, here, okay. I understand the booty types. Yes, ma'am. It's now, booty now types. Now, talk me through the booty types. Okay, you got the, the box bottom. You got the bubble. We try to die. You got in. the heart. Then you got the shell, the badonka donk, and the teardrop booty. Now, what's, your now what's, what's the ones the you like? Booty. The badonka donk The badonka donk and the bubble, because that's what I attract. The like, bigger women the like me. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. That's what I prefer, but I'm okay with my teardrop. And, and that's what she's not understanding. Good. Listen, it's hold on. Not okay, a I understand that. In reality, <laughs> see, she not realizing, okay, it's different names of booty. If she had a heart booty or a bubble booty, I'd be like, hey, you got a bubble booty, uh -huh. but you have a teardrop booty. And so? It, so it's not negative, it's, it's not just negative. descriptive. That's it. Oh, God. <laughs> Ms. 
Ms. Ms. Green, you do, you take a, do you it's take offense? Yes. At, at, now, now, tell me why you take offense. Because... Shh, 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 shh. That's just not nice. Now, why would you say that about a person that you claim that you love? Well, now, when he says it... It ain't joking. When does he say it and how does he say it? Your teardrop booty ass. Get your teardrop booty ass out my face. It's Mexican a booty girl. If it was okay. a badonka donk, I'd be saying, get your badonka donk booty out my face. But you like but it. But I say, okay, I'm cool with my teardrop. I tell you that. I'm not saying nothing is <laughs> wrong you with your teardrop. Your teardrop is cool. It's all right with me. But I think I, I got a nice okay. booty. Let, 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 let. It's nice. It's okay. Whatever. <laughs> you were doing fine until that last comment. You know, nah, he he's okay. okay with your teardrop yeah. booty. I believe that. I just believe he says things. I think he's very verbal. I think yeah, it, right. I think he has a... He got a lot of mouth going on. You yeah. know what I mean? It's so, been so, some really so bad, bad things that Duntavious has said that really hurt me. Like, I have been tell through me, some... Tell me what... I've been through some things where my body changes a little bit, some health issues, so sometimes I am very emotional. Very, very emotional, and that's something that I told Duntavious before we even made this series, because we were friends first. Mm -hmm. And he was okay with that then. But there was a time where he really just killed my soul with the stuff that he said to me. Tell me what he did. Recently, my grandmother just passed away last year. He says this. You want to go to a funeral and we about to get ready to move? You know we got two days before we have to move out. This is my grandmother, someone that raised me. He didn't even come to the funeral. Mr. Wellens, did it happen that way or is there another yeah. story you need to it tell me? It happened kind of that way. Tell me what happened. But we live up here. They live four hours away in the country. We got situations going on up here to handle and things but that going on up here. Them. I understand that your family, but guess what? We put here to leave, so guess what? It's cool. You, we went down there. You didn't even tell her. I went to the hospital with her. I went to the hospital. We went down there. What's the purpose of you going to, to the funeral? And we got to move. We finna be put out. M M it is snowing. M M Mr. Wellens, but you want to go to Mr. a funeral? Mr. Te Mr. Wellens, let me tell you what a grown man does in this society. If someone close to your to your woman dies, she goes to the funeral. That's what happens. No, 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 no. I'm about to tell you that happens one time in her lifetime. Her her grandmother dies once, just the once. You can move anytime. You, you get enough. No, hey, you... hey, hey, hey! Don't interrupt me again. Okay. Life has has priorities and hierarchy. Yes, ma'am. And the death of a close family member is up there. And if you have some logistical concerns, you find some of your buddies, one of the ones that left the key in the car to help you move mm -hmm. so this woman could go with her family, support her family, mm -hmm. grieve for, with her family, and there's no discussion about that. You were just wrong. Nine Not ways either. from Sunday, wrong. I went with her, though. The we green, couldn't go man. to the funeral because we was busy. We had to move. I and I'm telling you, the there is no such thing as too busy. Okay. Ain't no such thing. Yes, ma'am. And he also that's wanted just, to shorten that's just my childish and here. small and heartless. It's called mistakes. We move on from. You that's learn. how he feels about it. You everything. live and you learn. Did you learn that mistake? Do you yeah, understand what I'm I, telling you? I do, but I don't go out on my people's funeral, especially if I got something to do. You can't make it to our funeral. If we finna be put out, I'm, I'm worried about where we gonna lay our head. So I went to the hospital that. and hold the lady hand while she passed away. I, I we cried in you, the room and stuff. You're repeating like, to me the error the that you made that you said you're right, now you right, claim is you're an right, error. You're right. So you don't, do better, you don't believe do that. Do better. That ain't right. You're right. That ain't right. This particular family member heard everything that he said to me, all the bitches, the hoes, the maggots, they heard that. Do you believe name-calling is reason enough to end a relationship? Tell us what you think at Divorce Court. If you would like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Miss the show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and for exclusive content, go to Apple TV. Mr. Wellens, you say her family is too much in your business. Explain that to me. Every time me and Tequila have a situation, she calling her people putting them in our business. And all they're doing is hearing one part of the story, they downing me, calling me names, threatening me. She tell me her folk business. I be like, 
I ain't got nothing to do with that. Do everything goes wrong? Do you call your family? Because because I've known a number of women to, to do that, and it causes unnecessary rifts in the relationship. We talk every day. But when he's arguing with me, there was a situation where me and Duntavious got into a really heated argument. In the process, one of my family members was calling at the time. I threw the phone on the bed. Some kind of way the phone got it answered itself. Mm -hmm. So this particular family member heard everything that he said to me, all the bitches, the hoes, the maggots, anything that you can name that he was telling to me, they heard that. Duntavious wanted me to pretend like we was doing a screenplay so they wouldn't know what was going on. I gotcha. You say he, he, he thinks he knows everything since he became a Hindu? Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> he feels like now he's just... The rising star, something yeah. like that. Are you serious? That he's spiritual. Yes, that's where he gets all the knowledge. I am rich, I am wealthy, I am That's where he gets all the knowledge of me changing the way that I think. I try. That's where that comes I am with. I try to I'm jam spiritual that in her. and I'm trying to jam it in her head. <laughs> right. Listen, man, all I'm saying How is... How can you tell me anything about his right. names? If you don't have no positive mind for... I believe in manifestation. I don't know how many of y'all believe in that, but whatever you speak into the air, whatever you too. think, however you thinking, that's what you're going to manifest. If you yeah. always talking about you can't, you complaining, you can't do this, Okay, I got you. Get I, 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 well. Mr. Spiritual, calm day. down. <laughs> Center yourself. Damn with it, I'm gonna and, and then I'm going to tell you why I'm not going to ask you to give a profession of love as I usually do in my before your vows, because I'm not doing it. Y'all have no business being together. None whatsoever. You're an angry know-it-all who doesn't know much. And there's nothing more dangerous than that. that I, I, that. I've do, I've do, I, I do a lot of reading on a lot of things. The spirituality about which you speak, you do not have. You have, you, 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 you are you. jamming. You, when you say I'm going to jam knowledge into somebody's head, that it's is bad. positive. Don't you say another word. You have no self-control. Yes, you have no respect. You are loud and, and, and you are demanding and you are demeaning. Anybody calls you a maggot, that means you need to walk off. I don't care what kind She's of background. Me I a maggot before. Don't say another word. Sorry. If he's demeaning to you, if he feels in his profession that what he's going to give a wife is only knowledge, that means he thinks you're not good enough. He doesn't like what you know, he doesn't like what you think, he doesn't like what you say, and he doesn't like what you do. I think you're a little over the top with the jealousy. You mad and hot and angry and going to get mad at the waitress and all things. But somebody who's, who, who is angry and insecure and a guy who is overbearing and controlling, it'll never work. He's, it, it'll never work. It'll be one explosion after another. Boom, boom, pow, bang. You know what I mean? I'll expect to see you here six months after you get married for a divorce. <laughs> it's not going to work. Now, if you want to work on yourself and become better people, before you start correcting other people, you make sure you got your stuff together. I'm trying. And, I'm and, doing and, and you know, know when not to speak. Know when not to interrupt people. Know how to respect an authority figure when you see one. Know how to talk to a woman in a manner that uplifts her and not downgrades her. Thanks. There's so many things you need to know before you sell knowledge with anybody else because there's a, so much that you just simply don't know. The, run. <laughs> run. <laughs> this matter wow. is adjourned. <laughs> So, Judge Lynn told your girl to run. <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> I can't feel no type of way, man. The clock, it moves forward. So, are you staying? Are you going? What do you think? We'll, we'll be friends. We'll be friends. Mm -hmm. well, no matter what, we'll still be friends.